Researchers with the University of Utah have been studying the effects of dust on Utah's snowpack, and today their findings are being published. They now know that the single biggest contributor of dust along the Wasatch Front is the Great Salt Lake. ABC4 Northern Utah correspondent Kate Gardner with the details. It's incredible. We're in the middle of June and there is still snow to be seen on our mountains. Now you can see the snow behind me is looking pretty dirty and that could be for a number of reasons, but those researchers say that one of the biggest reasons for dirty snow across the Wasatch Front is airborne dust. And in fact, they say in 2022, that dust caused our snowpack to melt nearly a month earlier than it should have. It's mid-June and many mountain peaks are still holding on to some snow. That was not the case a year ago. We had the dustiest season on record um, since records began in 2009, and then dust shifted snowmelt timing by about um, two to three weeks. PhD student Otto Lang is one of the researchers looking into Utah's dust problem under the direction of Dr. Mackenzie Skiles. Snow is a critical water resource. None of us would be here without it. Snowmelt is something that is always monitored. We monitor all kinds of variables like radiation and temperature, things that impact snowmelt. But dust is not usually part of the equation. Dust is a process that is not considered all that important here in the Wasatch as a part of the snowmelt regime. And I think we're getting to the point where we need to start considering it. Not considering dust's effects, could cause some issues. It makes it uh, more difficult to predict um, when and how rapidly the snow will melt. Since snowmelt predictions don't currently account for dust, those predictions may overestimate how much water will actually make it to the reservoirs. And increased dust can also lead to flooding downstream if the snow melts early and all at once rather than spread out over weeks. The fact that the Great Salt Lake is a new dust source and is so close um, that this is not a problem that's just going to go away on its own. Dr. Skiles explains that their research also finds that nearly one quarter of all the dust on the snowpack in 2022 came from the dry lake bed at Great Salt Lake, the single largest source of dust. We're not only concerned about the lake levels and the ecology, but it also has kind of wider scale impacts on um, snow melt and on uh, water availability. Researchers say the dust that ends up settling on the Wasatch Front comes from a lot of different places, but the single largest source is the source that's closest to us, the Great Salt Lake. And it's the one source of dust that we can control. Reporting from Weber County, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.